Corona Diary is currently day 21. Can you actually believe that I've got to 21 days in isolation? 21 days since I've been in the same room as my family, properly indoors. 21 days since I was able to hug any of my family or be with my partner in the evening. Yeah, it's been tough, but there's much more than three weeks to go and we need to keep safe. So we will continue to keep doing what we are being advised to do. To further my rants about the police in the local area, police did actually turn up yesterday. Once I'd finished applying my makeup yesterday, I did spot a police car pulled up right outside and they went across to the other side of the road. Now yesterday, if you didn't know, in the UK we had beautiful sunshine. It was an amazing day. We got to 20 degrees yesterday. Unfortunately, what that meant was more neighbours were out sitting on their front patios. And I mean, their front doors aren't far off of the main path. So they were sitting there for the sake of sitting there and being nosy. In one short stretch of road, there was about six different houses sat out drinking alcohol, shouting across at each other. Now, whilst I understand it's really, really difficult and they are on their own private property, so they're on their own, you know, they can argue with the council that it's their property, it's their front garden. And I use that loosely because they're not a garden, they are tiny. What did bug me is the amount of people that were stood at their gates with them the other side, clearly not giving two metres distance. What irritated me through all of that was that the police were actually there. Now, one of these people that were out in their front gardens was next door to where the police were. Now, they were outside. They weren't inside the person's property, the police. And they were stood the other side of the wall to where the police and the other neighbours were. Now, it does appear that those people were fined. I don't know what's gone on. I'm not somebody that gossips with neighbours. I don't really know any of the neighbours a great deal other than one neighbour on one side of me. So we like to keep ourselves to ourselves. And as a community, when needed, we like to pull together. And we do enjoy being part of the community. But, but because we're a large family, we do keep ourselves to ourselves. I was quite pleased that the police were out there and I really did think that people were going to disperse and take all of their chairs, garden chairs back in when the, you know, before the police left. And sadly, I saw a notice being given to these people and, well, the police then left and everybody stayed out in their gardens. Now, it just goes to show how irresponsible and nosy some people are because there was actually one property where a young girl kept saying, I'm bored. Both parents were sat outside on chairs. She was saying, I'm bored. And they were telling her, well, you've got this, you've got that. You know, really off all sorts of different things she's got indoors. Why don't you go and play? Well, I don't want to do that then. And she was told, if you don't want to do that, go to bed. And I'm thinking, your daughter probably about 10 years old, is bored because parents are both just sat outside the front and she's got fed up with being out there. The dogs at one point managed to get out and chase somebody down the road. Not, not in a vicious way, but they, they'd seen a dog and they'd gone running down the road. Why aren't you just taking them all inside and being safe? Because... These gardens are on the path of the street, you know, they're directly on. So even if you're standing at your gate and it's your property, to be two metres away from the person at that gate, you need to be like on the curb in the road. And so it's just safest if you just stay indoors for people that need to go out diabetic people that need exercise you are putting their lives at risk and that's what irritates me i don't think it's fair i think people are being very very selfish what about me i can't go to work and i can't do this and i can't i can't go down the beach and i can't go to the park so they're sitting outside being nosy and making it dangerous because that particular part of my road 
would have been like run the gauntlet for somebody like me and al although I know I'm not supposed to go that particular side of my house now and I haven't done for the three weeks what if I really needed to what if my sugar levels did get really high it is so unfair of people to behave like that and so if you're somebody that has been sitting in your garden I would urge you please don't do that unless you've got a really big front garden and you are off the main footpath of a busy road please refrain from doing it because you are putting other people at risk and it's not fair most people have a back garden i know the people in question here do therefore it's completely unnecessary if they need some sun or they need some fresh air they have gardens i understand if you don't have a garden then there's nothing you can do about that and people will want to get that fresh air and that's absolutely fine. What I'm upset about is people that clearly have other means of getting fresh air and daylight, they can go outside into their back gardens or it would be safer if they went out for a walk rather than sitting along the paths where people need to be going for a walk. So yeah, <sighs> another rant from me. Anyway, let's move swiftly on with Saturday's news. So yesterday we saw the death toll rise to 4,934. The Queen, in an historic televised address, will say she hopes the coronavirus crisis will show that Britons of this generation were as strong as any as the country responds to the challenges it faces. So yeah, for the fourth time in the Queen's reign, she will be doing a televised message for everybody, which would have been... Sunday so that will be in tomorrow's video the health secretary has warned Britons that outdoor exercise may be banned if people continue to flout social distancing rules though he said no imminent changes to the nationwide lockdown are currently in the offing so uh, that's like a backtrack to me there's nothing in the pipeline so they start out by saying that we may have to change the rules but we're not planning to so we might change them, we might not. Who's going to take that seriously? It's a really contradicting statement that they've made, so I'm not sure I understand why you would have told us that, but anyway. Scotland's chief medical officer will no longer attend press briefing after twice visiting her second home while advising the public to stay at home. I don't understand. Family says their hearts are broken as midwife aged 54 who died from COVID-19 is named. Um, there is a lot of healthcare professionals passing away now, which is really awful because they are trying to save people's lives and in doing so they're risking their own. I can't imagine the stress and strain that the NHS workers and many other workers that are, you know, still providing for the public, what they're going through right now. I can't comprehend it. No masks, buses not cleaned and colleagues dying. Bus drivers explain they are all scared. Um, that comes after five London bus drivers have passed away. So I can understand the frustration there. They do need to look after these bus drivers. And I think it's wrong that they've had to go as far as talking to the news about how bad the situation is. So I do hope that that is dealt with very quickly because that's not acceptable. Longleat Safari Park owner Lord Bath dies after contracting COVID-19 aged 87. Nurses are holding their breath during high-risk COVID-19 procedures, doctor claims. Um, yeah, that's not good. I can understand it, but that's really not... That's really not a good thing. And lastly, Boris Johnson admitted to hospital for coronavirus tests. So yeah, he's been admitted now. So I believe he wasn't in an ambulance, but he is in hospital. Let's hope he gets better soon. Please don't forget to leave me the clapping emoji once again in the comments section. Stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow.